Columbia City Council will decide tonight about relocating Regency Mobile Home residents. Right, it's a story we've been following for a long time now. Developers with the Aspen Heights Project want to turn the mobile home park into student housing next year. KMU 8's Matt Morano is live from City Hall with details on what the City Council will face tonight. Matt? All right, Rosie, thank you very much. Get ready today for a top 10 list of the retailers with the best customer service. You might know this before you head out for Black Friday coming up this week. That's according to the NRF Foundation. The group surveyed more than 9,000 shoppers and found several online retailers made the list. The only brick and mortar stores in mid Missouri to make it, JCPenney and Kohl's. For the full list, head on to KOMU.com. The official rankings come out in January. Adele won best female artist. Did you get to watch any of it? I did not. It was, I it was on pretty late. Yeah. Yeah. For now, at least on our campus, it's a one-woman crusade. But she's confident that one form of collecting will catch on. A new look at why one person's trash is another person's treasure. You're taking a live look over Columbia with Jesse Hall lit up so pretty there in the background. It's 436 on your Monday morning. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Cold and flu season is certainly upon us. And experts say keeping your hands clean is the best defense against spreading the germs. So what works best, hand washing or sanitizing gels? NBC's Lisa Carberg finds out. In other health news, parents looking for alternative treatments for their children's ailments can now turn to acupuncture. A new study published in the journal Pediatrics finds acupuncture is safe and actually common for children when performed by trained professionals. Canadian researchers looked at studies spanning a 60-year period and found most adverse events were mild. People with diabetes are reporting fewer vision problems according to a new study from the CDC. Diabetes is the leading cause of blindness among adults in the U.S. Experts say patients are getting better about controlling their glucose, blood pressure, and cholesterol, all factors that can increase the risk for vision problems. People who are overweight as children may not face an increased risk for health problems as adults. That's if they can shed those pounds before becoming adults. Researchers in Finland studied more than 6,000 children and followed them for more than 20 years. They found those who were overweight or obese as kids but lost the weight before they became adults had the same risk for diabetes and heart disease as their normal weight peers. Staying active and eating healthy are the keys to keeping weight down in childhood. On Capitol Hill, it didn't happen. Well, that might not sound new. It's definitely new though details about what that means coming up after the break turkey day is just a few days away and 71 percent americans say they'll host a thanksgiving dinner including our very own megan murphy <laughs> nearly two-thirds of those holiday gatherings will top out at 10 people most will spend the same amount of money as they did last year according to the folks at allrecipes.com chief's got a chance in that one i sure hope so oh. i am not a patriots fan Oh, I really. She's got, she always has a good sports. I really over do here. not like the Patriots. Bill Belichick and Tom Brady, they both just rub me the wrong way. So, Chiefs all the way from the news anchor desk. There you go. Thank you very much. <laughs> Taking a live look over Columbia there, it is 5.51 on your Monday morning. Hop on Facebook, let us know what you think about our Facebook topic today. We'll be right back.